Remember that time we got a mage blood from the void one key? You guys remember? That was nice, wasn't it, chat? Wasn't that nice? Do you guys remember? We got a mage blood? I remember. That was nice. Mr. Mage is gonna get a TLDR and blood notched immutable. Sure. I need to break anyway. Ugh! So basically, basically, the way it works, if you always get stunned off every hit, any hit that stuns you will cause you to recover 60% of your life, that of the damage you would have taken. Now, because you take the damage, right? Because you take the damage first, this does not do anything for one shots. So if I get hit for 4,102 damage, I just die, right? So all this does is effectively give you like a ton of like pseudo avoidance. But remember, if you get one shot, you get one shot, you die. Now, the way this works is you need to have as little energy shield as possible. So I ideally zero, but I have 62. Then ideally you don't want it to protect your life because that first hit will have a chance to avoid being stunned because energy shield that protects your life has a 50% chance to avoid being stunned. So ideally you go EB. EB or zero AS or uh, what's it called? Fucking I don't I don't know where it is. Agnostic. Um, but having sixty two ES is playable. This is fine. Yeah, or you could just use blood rage. Yeah. Now, this is fine though. Sixty two is not like unplayable. It just means that first hit has a chance to not stun you, which means you could theoretically not recover off the first hit. But it's still it's still playable just like this. Now, you get the Energy Shield Mastery, which causes your stun threshold to be based off your Energy Shield instead of life. And if you have, let's say, 0 AS, um, every hit will stun you. With 62, every every hit still stuns me for the most part. Like, I'm pretty sure I get stunned even in, like, Tidal Island, probably. Um, but anyway, um, because every hit now stuns me, now we have to avoid being stunned. Because, like, if I'm, if I'm getting stunned of every hit, the game's unplayable, right? That's where Immutable comes in. Now you don't want any source of stun immunity or stun avoidance. So you need to not have Heart of the Oak, you can't run Perfectionist, you even can't run Brian King, right? You can't even run Brian King. And instead you rely in completely on Immutable Force. This makes your stun animation so small that you don't even notice getting stunned unless you're getting hit by like 20 different mobs at a time. So this essentially gives you stun immunity without actually being stun immune. And again, every single hit that stuns you now recovers your life. Now that's as simple as the tech uh, works. That, that's all I've done in this build, nothing crazy. Now effectively chat, how strong is the Blood Notch? Allow me to explain. Because I think every softcore player should consider running this in their build if they meet the requirements. The requirements are no source of stun avoidance, as little ES as possible with the ES mastery. If you if you meet, and two drill sockets. If you meet those requirements, I think it's super nice in softcore. Now, why is it nice? I'll tell you why. This combination is as strong, almost as strong, as 90 max res. Imagine if this jewel just said two and a half, like you take 60% less damage. Because that's essentially what this does. Now, it doesn't work against one shots. But if you build your character to avoid getting one shot, you, you have a decent chunk of HP, you got a decent chunk of mitigation. This is crazy strong, like crazy, crazy strong. Can you explain this? Yeah. So if you take 10,000 damage, you heal for 6,000 damage, which means you would be left with 4,000 life left. Now, as long as you don't get clean one shot, this effectively means you have 2.5 times the HP. Which is the same amount of EHP increase that you would take going from 75% max res to 90% max res. Because now instead of taking 25% of the damage, you're taking 10%. Which is 2.5 times less, which is, you know, it, it's the same EHP increase. Now, what's really, really OP, this alone is OP by the way. But what's really, really OP is that if you get either um, Petrified Blood or ideally Progenesis, 
This is where it gets really broken. Because this combo alone is insane. And yes, you can combo this with Defiance of Destiny, and it's even stronger. I think you're like... I don't know how it interacts with Defiance of Destiny, but it's probably like legit immortality. So it's like insane. To be clear, to be clear... In this example... If you get one shot, you still die. So when I say 10k damage taken, I'm not talking about one hit. Because if you take 4k damage, you die. So it, it's only good against hits that don't one-shot you. But in Path of Exile chat, you will be surprised. This is this might come to a shock to you, but you don't get one shot very often. That actually doesn't happen that often. Unless your build's like shit. In which case, you know. I mean you build shit. Um, but as long as your build's not like literal shit, you don't get one shot that often. It doesn't happen that easy. You do get two shot or shotgunned a lot, but this will protect you against that. So I basically know stun of what is in this jewel. Uh, to, just to reiterate the requirements, two jewel sockets, no source of stun avoidance or uh, anything like that. At, at, at 200 ES or less, preferably less, and the energy shield mastery. Those are the requirements. Yes, this does work against exact balls. Yes, this does work against exact balls. It works against any hit that can stun you, which is pretty much every hit in the game. You literally died to essence and your omen didn't proc Lamal. You're thinking about a different... Well... Okay, you're correct. That was a two-shot, though. That was a two-shot. This would have protected me in that situation, Nexus. That, that would have protected me, because that was a two-shot. So its weakness is Dot? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't help you against Dot. What is the minimum roll required for the immutable? I don't know. There is a... There is a I think there is a min roll for it to feel okay. It's probably, like, in the 850s to 900 range. I need lower than that and you notice and it's like kind of annoying. 950... 962. Why are you saying I should divine my blood notched? I mean I will. I'll do it. There is a threshold at 963. So the stun duration is shorter than the tick of a server. Is that just theoretical or does it actually change the way the build feels? Because if that actually helps then I should divine it. I mean, I'll divine it. I'll do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna divine it right now, chat. I'm right now. I'm doing it right now. No, no, no. That guy, that guy said it matters. I do. Right. You ready? Dog shit. Dog shit. No. 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 Alright, it worked. See? 10 divines. Worth. Easy. Minus 10 lol W. Wait, is it enough? Wait, is it enough though? 971. Oh, yeah. Whew. Easy. That's 973 plus. Calf. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. It came... When, it, when I got the phone, it came with a factory defect. It had like a line, like a yellow line across the screen. And my sister said... Alex, that's my name. She said, Alex, you have to get that return. You have to get that fixed. And I said, I can't be fucked. I don't care. And it got worse over time. And it's really bad now. And I still don't care. I only use my phone as an alarm clock and a food delivery device. I, I just do not care. You, you scared me when you said doxed, Khan. I was like, how did I dox myself? I feel like I learned some forbidden knowledge. <laughs> Alex. It's steel. Oh, yeah. If it makes you feel better, chat. If it makes you feel better, nobody calls me Alex. Maybe Shane. Yeah. That's, that might be it. So there's one person in Belfast, I think, that calls me Alex. Maybe one person that I know that regularly calls me that. That's one person. Oh, yeah, and my family. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, okay. That's true. I mean, I meant it in like Belfast, but you know. The food delivery guy. Okay, no joke. I can't show you receipts or anything, but no fucking joke. It says on delivery, like, it actually says, I don't know, hopefully this doesn't dox, but it actually says steel mage. I don't know why. I don't know why. I must have fucked up somehow. <laughs> uh, 
Because it has my real name on there too. I don't know how. Yeah, I've had I've had people come to the I've had people come to the door <laughs> and say I've got an order for Steel Mage. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it throws me back. I'm like, who? I'm like, what? No, I wasn't a fan because they were so confused. Like, this isn't a real name. What the fuck is this? They were so confused. When you also Alex Steele in a similar situation? Yeah, yeah, that's also happened. So I've had packages, not from delivery or anything like that, but from like companies. Like they'll send me like a graphics card or like a laptop or whatever. They'll send me something as part of a sponsorship. And one time I received a package and it said on the delivery box, it said package for Alex Steele. So they must have like, I don't, I don't know how they did that, but they like combined the names. And so on the delivery thing, it said Alex Steele. Porn stun it. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Holy. Well, at least I know if like streaming doesn't go well and I need another, you know, way to entertain adults online. You know, I, I, I already have the screen name for it, right? Holy dude. Holy.